I think the poets might disagree. Well, I'm not a poet. I'm just a woman. I have an addiction, and there's really no explanation for it. I wish I could stop, but I can't. And that addiction is to buying books. behind me I've got quite a few stacks of unread books but that's not it I clearly didn't think about how I was going to get this in the shot okay I've rearranged a little bit so that we can see all of my books and I think it's probably easiest to start with series that these books over here are the series that were on my shelf and then most of these are standalones that live in my second bookshelf that lives in the hallway so the first series on my shelf that I haven't read is the Harry Potter series. Um, I got this for Christmas and I don't know, I feel like this is such a fall and Christmassy series so I'm gonna wait till the latter half of the year to read this. Then the next stack of books that I have is the Addicted series. This isn't even all of them but these are the ones I haven't read. I've only read the first three and I believe there's 10 in the series and we have four of them here. So we have like three more left to buy and finish and read and these ones included. And then if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with the Sarah J Mass universe and I feel like I've been influenced to read this series which is Throne of Glass. I only have have the first four I haven't read any of them so I'm excited to start this and then get to the tan but I'm a little bit intimidated because these books get so large towards the end I don't know it's a pretty big series I think there's like seven or eight books this next series is one I also got for Christmas which is the Shatter Me series I've actually read the first book but I don't remember it so I'm not counting it I need to reread it before I get to the rest of the series I'm super excited to read this I feel like maybe since this is such a popular series I might do like a reading vlog of me reading the entire thing so if you want that definitely let me know and these last two they're technically in the last books in a series that i have to read still counting them but this is finale by stephanie garber which is the third book in the carval series it's the only one i have left to finish and then the final gambit in the inheritance games trilogy which also isn't a trilogy because she keeps writing books for it i don't know i feel like the series didn't need a third book so i keep putting off reading this one and then the last stack in this kind of pile is from my nightstand which is my more immediate like what i'm currently reading and then what i want to get to next so i'm currently reading crescent city 2 because crescent city 3 comes out in like three days and i'm like determined to finish i'm only on like page 50 though and it's this thick so the next three books are books i want to read soon happy hour by marlo granados check in mate by ali hazelwood and then the idiot by elif batuman now it's time to get to the bookshelf. Okay, I kind of lied about being done with the series. There's only one series on the shelf though. Actually, I think there's two, but the full series that I have is the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. I'm obsessed with the TV show, so I went and I bought all the books. Don't know when I'm gonna get to reading them though, so I have all of those. I think there's like, there's eight of them. I have eight Bridgerton books. And then the rest of these aren't organized in any way. They're literally just color-coded, so we're gonna go through all of them. This book has been on my TBR for literally two years. This is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by the Ishwa. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Samantha Collins. I told myself I would read this before I watched the movie, and then I watched the movie and didn't read the book. So I need to get around to this. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I won't lie, I bought this because the cover was really cute. Inward by Young Pueblo. I bought this because it was on sale for $5 at Urban Outfitters. If I see a book on sale, I'm going to buy it. It's just the way it works. Flux by Orion Carlotto. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I seriously don't know if I'm ever gonna read this because I heard the romance is a subplot. Like really subplot so we'll see one for my enemy by olive e. blake look at how gorgeous this cover is atomic habits by james clear i won't lie i read like half of this book and then dnf'd it so part of me keeps all the books that i didn't finish and i feel like i should do a whole reading vlog of books i did not finish to see if i can give them a second try my policeman by beth and robert bought this obviously because harry styles is in the movie the bodyguard by Catherine center okay this is the second series i was talking about that's on the shelf but this is this woven kingdom by tara moffey i also have these infinite threads which is the second book in this series last on the shelf is tomorrow 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 by gabrielle zevin we're done with the top row so let's move to the second little women by louisa may alcott i literally have three copies of little women i haven't read a single one of them but it's only because i'm obsessed with the 2019 movie version and i 
just need to get around to reading this. Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. The Gracier by Kim Leggett. The No Show by Beth O'Leary. Another book that I DNF. Maybe Meant to Be by K.L. Walther. Also look at how cute this cover is. Spells for Lost Things by Jenna Evans Welch. Love the One You're With by Emily Griffin. Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. Only Love Can Hurt Like This by Paige Toon. Winter in New York by Josie Silver. Bones and All by Camille DeAngelis. The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. All About Love by Bell Hooks. And Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And that is the end of our second shelf. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton another book idea net. Normal People by Sally Rooney, One Italian Summer by Rebecca Serley, Life's Too Short by Amy Jimenez, and lastly, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Those are all the books on my physical TBR. If you've read any of them, I'm going to need you to convince me to read it.